8 News Now. This is Sports with Chris Matthews. And good afternoon. NFL football is coming up next here on Chan Night. Now, this Saturday, it's the Rebels and Wolfpack in a battle for the Fremont Cannon. Boy, this has been a great series. Often heated, but great nonetheless. You know, because coach Tony Sanchez knew all about the rivalry. In fact, when he was hired, plenty of fans reminded him how important the Cannon game is. With the win, he'd be the first head coach since Jeff Horton in 94 to beat the Wolfpack in his first try. Well, when I got the job, I mean, literally everybody, the first thing everybody told me was get the cannon back, coach, get the cannon back, coach. I mean, that was just something that was just kept getting said over and over and over, you know, and uh, so you get it real fast. And, you know, you walk in the locker room and there, there's a big wooden plank and it's empty, you know, and one of the first things we did is we put up a big sign in the locker room and it's got a picture of us and Reno playing each other and it says, you know, if you, know, if, <clears throat> if you want things to change and you have to do things differently. John Robinson played Reno six times and after losing his first in 99, beat five straight. Mike Sanford never beat the pack in five tries and how once he turned the trick in 2013. Well, the game kicks off Saturday at four o'clock and as we told you all week, no TV for this game. Only on the internet. You'll have to watch it on either UNLV or Mountain West websites. We first introduced you to a young boy named Dylan a few years ago. He's a kicker. He's real good and he's the real deal. At least Dylan Feeder can say he's not kicking himself for starting earlier. At 10, Dylan was kicking long field goals. His longest is 50 yards, not bad for a 14-year-old. I just needed practice on my technique because it was way off. I just had leg strength. I didn't have any technique. But he does have a lot of uh, leg strength, but now, right now, uh, with the technique, he's right on, dead on. Dylan will represent Nevada in the NFL's punt, pass, and kick competition at a Chargers game this fall. If he wins that, it's off to the Super Bowl. But now he's kicking, long and straight mostly, and when he's not kicking a football, he's helping feed the homeless on Sundays. I think I made a change because I feel really bad for them. So it makes him smile. He has a couple gifts. Let's give back. And I know if he ever has a means in the future, this will help him and he will help other people. And that's how I'm kind of, um, right. why, I, I want to raise him that way. Dylan's middle school is the two-time state defending champions. He's only missed one extra point all season. That's why he's in this month's Sports Illustrated for Kids. They, too, see how far he can kick. All right, DreamWorks has also floated the idea of a reality show with Dylan. Good luck there. And speaking of good, Las Vegas, good business for the NFL. Last week's TV ratings, third highest in the country. The week before, it was sixth. How about this? We'll see how tonight's game shakes out. Ravens and Steelers, Big Ben Roethlisberger out with an injured ankle. Of course, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uphill battle begins tonight. It's the Steelers and Ravens, and they're coming up next.